you're only meant to open fire in defence. So your job is to get as far away as possible so that you don't have to open fire or you get far enough away from them so that you can open fire. You can draw your weapon and you can, you, you can fire it. Um, so yeah, there's a level of unarmed combat that you have to be capable of and confident with in order to do so. And then the other side of the, the, the sort of more of the survival side of things is um, resistance to interrogation. So yeah, we, we've seen the films about interrogation and um, yeah, if you, if you go with Hollywood's role of interrogation, well, you know, it's all about getting, um, getting tortured and getting your head kicked in. And yeah, I mean, that, that, there is that threat that that's gonna happen. It doesn't work, but you, know, you are going to be put under severe um, physical and mental stress. So that's the sort of survival skills that you need um, you know, it's, it's not so much about being able to survive in the jungle or in the desert until someone com comes to pick you up. Because as we all found out, you weren't going to get picked up. You needed your skills to be mindful for long enough that all of the codes could be changed, everyone else could be taken out of whatever operation they were involved in so that they were safe. If you got out, hey, lucky you. <laughs>